Hey guys, welcome, welcome back. Uh, today, new broadcasting, Peter Roxner here. We're gonna talk uh, a few minutes about fish and meat. Fish and meat is very interesting, something that we eat all over the world every day. And in my opinion, too much. But of course, it's a beautiful business and a lot of people making money on it and why not? So right now I'm going to talk to you about uh, the qualities a little bit or, you know, to see what you're really eating and uh, what is the best way to prepare it and eat it. Let's start about th with fish. Fish is a beautiful nutrition, it's a beautiful product that is very healthy uh, if it comes from the, from the right place. Of course, if you got fish from inside of the company that they uh, grow themselves, they are also grow hormones. They also overfeed it. Uh, they need to be grown as fast as possible so we can sell it as fast as possible to the stores. Uh, you got farm-raised fish. You got free ocean fish. A different kind of fish. Um, you got the white fish. You got the big fish, the, the salmon, the tuna. So uh, let me just start a little bit with the beginning. The, the nutrition of tuna and salmon are beautiful, very highly on omegas. Um, but when people are want to lose weight or people uh, have um, problems with too much fat keeping in their body, then the big fish like shark, tuna, salmon are fish that you don't want to eat. Uh, I know it's a beautiful, it's a delicious fish. It's one of my favorites, salmon. But again, if you want to lose weight, or for health issues, it's not the fish that you need to eat. You need the white fish, you need the small fish, like tilapia or uh, flounder, uh, that kind of fish. Uh, I love fish. Um, I'm, I'm from a butcher family, but if I can choose between meat or fish, I, I, <laughs> I love fish too much. I'll go for fish. Um, often they say fish is more healthy than meat. In the past, maybe it was. Uh, right now the ocean is uh, polluted uh, it's it's very difficult to get a clean fish you cannot have organic fish you can have but you can have organic meat but organic fish it doesn't really exist because water can never be organic and that's one and a salt cannot be organic you cannot get organic salt you cannot get organic water there are two ingredients that are just not really on the market organic because it's not really possible but um, the nutrition of fish is very good it's a very highly nutrition it's very healthy it digests fast it's easy to cook and it has a beautiful flavor some fish has a little less flavor than another one um, advice to cook it cook it in butter with oil in combination of uh, this mixture let the fish swim in the pan let make sure that he got enough butter and oil in there so he can swim like he swims in the ocean uh, it will uh, help absolutely to fasten the uh, baking process a little salt and pepper you can put a lot of a little bit of uh, dill on here a little lemon juice uh, i would not flavor the fish too much with spice and herbs because it's just a beautiful product on its own um, too much of it is never good so that's the fish part then the meat uh, I love meat if it's turkey if it's duck if it's uh, uh, beef is it if it's chicken I, I'm not a flavor for pork but that's a personal opinion I don't really like pork uh, but of course worldwide they I think it, it's the most uh, most eaten meat in the world pork it's not too expensive it's easy to uh, produce and uh, it's it's easy to cook it takes a while with a nice pork shoulder uh, pulled pork uh, or pork chop uh, pork cowboy steaks uh, it's absolutely the most people they love it um, meat what I just said earlier you have organic meat grass-fed meat organic meat and and you got normal regular meat um, if you're gonna eat meat and you're gonna eat it a lot please just consider that eat absolutely organic free or free-ranged 
or antibiotic free eat meat that is clean you don't want to get all that toxin inside of you the grow hormones the antibiotics in the short term it will not do anything harm it will do, do, do no harm to you but in, on the long term it can absolutely influence your health um, just like fish don't eat too much of it be in balance eat two three times a week meat eat two or three times a week fish and if you can eat one time a week or maybe two times a week vegetarian um, we cannot produce meat in the world for everybody in this on this planet so we are overpopulated and we're trying to eat meat every day everybody it's not possible if we keep doing what we're doing right now we're gonna have a problem and we're gonna have no meat anymore in a, a few decades so just eat wisely eat wisely meat eat wisely fish think about your kids or your grandkids you know you want them to have a nice dinner on the table um, there are meat for places like tofu tempeh saitan uh, soya but of course it's not the same and we humans are if i like it or not we're meat eaters meat has beautiful nutrition uh, a lot of iron uh, it's 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 good for us in uh, the right doses um, the way to prepare it use butter a uh, nice quality butter in the pan put it on the grill put some oil on the grill uh, put it in the oven put it in a nice oven dish and marinate a little bit with the spices or herbs or, or wet marinade that you like and uh, don't overcook it but make sure that you cook it long enough if you overcook it you're gonna lose a lot of nutrition if you cook it too short it's gonna be very difficult to digest your, your body cannot digest raw meat even a lot of people like red meat it's not good for you <laughs> it's not good for you at all and as we men uh, our big meat eaters I've been to different countries I've been in different kitchens and uh, men men like to eat meat and a lot so if you eat a lot of meat try to get it organic grass fed and antibiotic or hormone free please do that same with chicken I love chicken but my chicken has to be organic or uh, at least antibiotic free free ranged it's gonna cost you more money but it's gonna give you much more product quality and flavor my opinion everything what I'm telling you here is my opinion the way I see things and I experienced it in the last 23 years and longer of my life being in the food industry and working with food um, seasoning use uh, different kind of uh, seasonings don't use too much salt uh, I, you can see another broadcasting of me about salt and sugar uh, listen to that a little bit salt is just not good too much salt is not good we are addicted to salt and sugar don't use it too much you have other spices and herbs in the kitchen that you can use instead of salt to make your beef or fish very flavorful um, yeah okay this is just a short short video uh, I, I want to keep it short the last three videos are around to 10 minutes I want to keep it that way uh, any questions any comments any dislikes any uh, reactions come to me Twitter Facebook LinkedIn under the name Peter Oxnour uh, you can find me on Google Plus and of course you stream uh, I'm broadcasting now live but not everybody got the time to watch it at the moment that I'm broadcasting it uh, I got viewers all over the world from Spain to England to uh, the Netherlands uh, America and, and Mexico so uh, just let me know if you need anything come to me with an inbox on Facebook that's the where I'm the most under the name Peter Roxnoor and uh, let me know what you thought about it give me feedback and thank you for watching and uh, I always enjoy sharing stuff with you that are uh, important for life and the next episode is going to be a cooking episode uh, the last four we're talking I love to talk but I also love to cook so see you next time in Peter's Kitchen. Have a good day, guys.